State Farm, the presenting sponsor of the 2021 Tiny Desk Contest, is proud to support this Tiny Desk Contest Family Hour. State Farm thanks the amazing artists participating and all of you tuning in. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. For NPR Music, welcome to the Tiny Desk Contest Family Hour. I am Bob Boylan. The Tiny Desk is my desk at NPR. Today, we begin taking entries for our seventh annual Tiny Desk Contest. So excited. It's our nationwide search to find the next great undiscovered artist to play a Tiny Desk concert. Uh, first, I'll tell you to enter. You'll record a video of yourself playing an original song behind a desk of your choosing. Get imaginative, have fun with it, upload it to YouTube, and submit it by going to the npr.org Tiny Desk Contest site. Uh, just be 18 years old and don't be a sign famous musician. <laughs> so, and have have a lot of fun with it. What's about to happen today? We're going to watch new performances from our six previous Tiny Desk Contest winners. Fantastic DeGrito, Galen Lee, Tank of the Bangers, Naya Izumi, Quinn Christofferson, and Linda Diaz. So I'll also be talking live with the winners, Galen Lee and Tank and the Bang is in between. So we'll play three concerts, little concerts, and then we'll have a live conversation. We'll answer some of your questions uh, and uh, we'll have fun chatting with some of our winners. So first up, we're going to watch videos from Fantastic Degrito, who won our very first contest in 2015. Galen Lee won in 2016 and Tank and the Bang is in 2017. Each artist is going to play a new song and then their contest winning entry. We're going to start with Fantastic Negrito. He's our first winner from 2015 playing a song from his latest album. Have you lost your mind yet? Here's Fantastic Negrito. Enjoy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So everybody knows it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody knows it. Uh. Have you lost your mind yet, people? I'm happy 
this morning. I'm happy this morning. I say, I'm happy this morning. 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 Oh, I'm so happy that I cried. Did that one with Tank. I wish she was here. And we can sing. I'm so happy. I'm so happy I cry. Oh, I'm so happy I cry. Because today I'm so glad to be alive. Oh, I'm so happy I cry. Back in 1999, touch everything that I could find. Used to scratch and sniff on that, searching for that friend of mine. And I found out that friend of mine was Bob Boylan. And P.R. Tiny Desk. 2015, I was in the streets busking, had a dream of contribution. But nobody really dug it except people on the streets. The industry didn't really get it. You're too old. You don't look right. We don't understand the music. What genre is this? So, I submitted my performance to the Tiny Desk contest in 2015, and I didn't even want to do it. When I first heard about it, I thought, ah, NPR, Fantastic Negrito, come on. Hey, I'm not a street dude, but I grew up in the streets, and, you know, I keeps it real. And um, I didn't know how that would, I didn't know how that was going to go. Um, but it's gone quite well. <laughs> um, I remember the day because I'm in a collective at the time, and we voted, like, should we submit to Tiny Desk? Or should we not? And I voted not to do it. But luckily, you know, I didn't have all the power, and um, we submitted it. And that performance of a song called Lost in the Crowd changed my life, literally. I mean, I was in the streets doing fantastic Negrito busking, playing here, playing there, you know, making some noise, but it was like Tiny Desk gave me a home and it put what I was doing on steroids. And, um, you know, I've recorded three albums <laughs> since then. And I haven't looked back, but today I'm going to look back. Today I'm going to give back um, to Bob Boylan and the Tiny Desk. Um, I told my kids, you don't pray to God, you pray to Bob Boylan. <laughs> because we're eating because of him, no. But it's kind of true. Um, so I'm happy to talk to you about this song, Lost in the Crowd, You Feel Your Thoughts Out Loud, Lost in the Wilderness of the Sound, Get Through the Day, Come On, Don't Drown, Life, It Goes Fast, Youth is Gone, Feelings are Lost, Come On and Grieve and Move On. But then you listen closely. Hear that devil grieving on the side of the soul, way down. See, mm, yeah. to leave behind For a 
lonely day Stuck in a room for too long Waiting to hear your favorite song Panic, freak out, I'm out on a ledge Shapeless expression, lame and dead Eat till you're fat, eat till you're dumb Spend all your money until you come Travel, oh, we travel, trying to find it. I know that neither one of us, neither one of us can survive it. But that a good Lord will travel, Lord will travel, trying to find it. We're just people, lonely people, you and I. We're just people, lonely people, you and I. Do we run away or try? 
her to face our demons Can't you just admit that it's over Can't you just admit that it's over Can't you just admit that it's over No, this vision won't The surface doesn't seem to make much sense A clouded mess, but beneath it all I know there is some order Sifting through my fear, my hate, my love My emptiness, I will someday Hit upon that boundless border Won't you put your lips to this water? Won't you put your lips to this water? Won't you put your lips to this water and quench your thirst to be free? Won't you grab a hold of this hammer? Won't you grab a hold of this hammer? Won't you grab a hold of this hammer and build a new day? My name is Galen Lee, and I am from Duluth, Minnesota. And back in 2016, I entered the Tiny Desk Contest. Uh, I remember filming it upstairs uh, in my lesson space where I taught fiddle lessons on my phone, my like Samsung Galaxy 5 with zero tech. Uh, we tried to zoom out and it like glitch, 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 but that was the best we could do and submitted the video and never in a million years did I think that I would end up winning. And the contest definitely changed my life. I mean, I think that you should start where you are and, and there's always a place for your art, but having that opportunity to get a wider audience allowed me to tour, to meet so many people and make so many friends that I wouldn't have made otherwise. And most importantly to me, to advocate for the representation of disability in music and better accessibility in the arts. So I am forever grateful to the NPR Music Crew for um, picking my song so many years ago, and I'm going to play it for you now. This is called Someday Will Linger in the Sun. Here we go. I 
and I love you. We walked to the pier and back again. It was the most scared I've ever been. You held my hand until the end, and I love you. And I love you. Don't tell me we've got time. The subtle thief of lies it slips away when we pay no mind. We pull the leaves out till the dawn. Nearly too tired to carry on. Some. Will linger in the sun, and I love you, and I love you, Everything I have is a piece of alcohol, but he don't feel like home. 
win. Me too. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys, check us, check us, check trying us. out for Tiny Dance was one of the most unexpected, most memorable probably experiences of, of our career. Um, we submitted on the last day. I wouldn't recommend it, um, <laughs> but we did. And uh, it was last minute and it was uh, very exciting for us. Our manager practically had to get us all up in the room and say, okay, this is the time you're doing it. Because for some reason, she just believed that this was the time, this was the moment for us to win it, and this was our time to submit. Uh, we changed our song last minute, so, you know, something that I would and would not recommend. Uh, mm -hmm. I would just say, put it all on the table, believe in yourself, no matter what, and don't look at the other videos and make yourself feel weird or insecure about it. Just know that what you got going on with your band, or even with yourself at all, is important and is special, and somebody need to hear it. Um, Ready? And here it is. We're about to do the video that okay. won us our tiny dance, our song original. Quick. I'm gonna do it like a dance. One, two, three. Hit it! Oh, nine. Nah. One, two, three. Hit it! Thank <laughs> you. 
how much joy is that oh my gosh <laughs> every time if you've just joined us this is the tiny desk contest family hour all of our contest winners are celebrating with us and they're encouraging you to join us in this year's tiny desk contest i'm bob boylan and today is the first day of submissions to the tiny desk contest 2021 the final day, I don't even want to tell you what the final day is. Well, it's June 7th, but <laughs> as Tank said, don't wait to the final day. <laughs> and joining me live <laughs> to, to talk, uh, having seen some of their performances, uh, Tank from Tank of the Bangas. Hey. Hey, Bob. What's up, everybody? It's really cool uh, to see everybody out there. I'm in D.C. Tank's in New Orleans, and Galen Lee is joining us from Duluth, Minnesota. Hey, everybody. <laughs> so I, I just want to say that uh, people don't know this, but while the performance is happening, we pre-recorded the performances, but not this conversation. Um, I can see Tank and I can see Galen. They can, we can see each other. And uh, and I was watching Galen and Tank during uh, Tank's performance, also G Tank during Galen's performance. And I'm just going to say you two need to do something together. That would, all be, I can say. That would, fun. That would yeah, just that would be amazing. Be so special. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I feel like I should do something with like all the tiny desk winners at some point. <laughs> I know. Game on. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Maybe we make a record. That would be yes. cool. That would, yeah. be that would actually be pretty cool. Um, one of the reasons why I wanted to have this live conversation with you and people are writing questions in the in the uh, in the chat room is I want to talk about first like how this changed your life because um that is a reason to enter the contest but not the reason but it's certainly a main one but let's start with you tank so what did this contest do to you that uh, and and bring to your life that wasn't there before well first of all you were the one that kept telling me it's gonna change your life like, <laughs> and i and like we were just on our npr you know tour which was so cool and i was i was like whatever you know ever <laughs> but when it actually happened you know um the grammy nomination and just more tours and more people in the audience and everybody knows everybody name. hey albert hey josh you know hey jelly everybody knows everybody's name now yeah. uh so that was really cool just to be able to travel to more venues more places sell out more shows because it's my my manager used to always say you guys are great you really just need the platform and tiny desk was the platform that is awesome. And Galen, I mean, you've toured the world now. Um, tell us about your life and how it's changed from being up in that violin room giving lessons, which I, I assume you still are a teacher, right? No, I haven't taught since oh. uh, t since the Tiny Desk. It was a really big change uh, just because it kind of opens up these doors that I hadn't walked through before. You know, I hadn't toured at all at like played outside of Minnesota at all. And so we did, you know, 45 states and nine countries in the last four or five years. And and then to do fun things like, uh, I remember I got to open for Wilco and and the Decemberists, which were two of my favorite bands growing up. So to get to like meet them and, and then play on stage with them actually was like, it was just cool. It's, it's kind of like, you're right, it changes their life and the path that it takes, I think is kind of, you don't know where it's going to go, but it definitely isn't going to be the same. It's a, a left turn, and it was really fun. I'm super grateful for all the different stuff we got to do after. And, and, then, and then the the ability to advocate for those with disabilities. I mean, the many stories of you either booking at a venue where you can't even get onto the stage or getting to the stage is difficult, and now you have a voice. Tell us a little about some of that. Yeah, yeah. So that was kind of like the other part of it, which I wasn't expecting, but I'm glad that it happened. Is um, when I when I started touring, I didn't realize how inaccessible the music industry is for people with disabilities. Um, you know, not only fans getting into shows at places that just aren't accessible, but the performers. You know, there's most places I can't get on the stage, and it requires a ton of extra work on my part to like set up the things I need ahead of time. Mm -hmm. And so I started doing more like public speaking and um, just kind of advocacy with venues and arts organizations. Like I just did something with the Recording Academy a couple weeks ago about accessibility in the arts. And it's kind of like we think of disability as 
as like a medical thing where really I see it as like a an identity, kind of like a cultural identity of like, we can support it and celebrate it, but we can't support it and celebrate it if we can't get into the building. And so making the arts more accessible, I think just needs to be like really prioritized in like the venues and the the press that we write about music and the the booking agencies looking out to like really make sure that that we change this so that the so the world is just more welcoming not just to disabled people but it makes it better for everyone really if it's accessible so it was sort of like out of necessity i started doing that stuff and i'm grateful for the opportunity but hopefully eventually i'll be out of a job as a speaker on accessibility because the world will be accessible that would be great <laughs> <laughs> love that uh, I, before the show, you were about to ask Tank a question. I said, don't do that now. Do it, oh, yeah. do, do it now. <laughs> okay, so Tank, what made you pick the song? Because I have memories of how I picked my song that I answered, but I want to know how you picked your song. Well, I was actually going to do a whole different song. I was going to do one of my favorite songs called Oh Heart. Because when you think about Tiny Desk, you're like, oh, it's intimate. You know, I should comb it down, make it all pretty and soft. And then my uh, the drummer at the time, who was the MD, Joshua Johnson, he was like, let's do quick. And I'm like, quick? Quick got <laughs> all these sounds, all these bells, all these whistles, all these drums, all these parts. How you going to tone that down? And he, we just did it. And it was one shot. And it wow. was it was just perfect. It felt good. I watched the audition more than the concert. Because I love the audition, you know. Uh, so that would probably be my thing to everybody. If you want to go big, go big, as long as you got a desk. Yeah. Do yeah. it. <laughs> and and, and you, your yeah. desk, you found, uh, it was a classroom, right? Yeah, so. it was a classroom, like, at this uh, high school called Clark. And I called up an art friend. And I knew he was going to have a lot of desks. Because, you know, artists, they need their space. So I uh, went up in his classroom. And literally, the bell rung. And we had to leave because, you know, the... The school was about to become a high school like it normally is so <laughs> it was just it was just so amazing and organic and last day <laughs> <laughs> i think it speaks to uh something i get asked a lot which is about the visual component of the tiny desk and how much that matters uh, of the six winners most of the ones that are done are pretty much done uh, with a phone or something you know you don't need a camera crew i guess is the point yeah no, um, it was a phone. It was an iPhone for us, and we and when, yeah, it was an iPhone. And at first, he was filming with the uh, regular camera. It was like it looks better on an iPhone. It's whatever you have access to, right? Yep. Just let the mu music shine through. If you want to get creative, well, fun, do that. But the the music that we want to hear uh, is is the stuff that is uh, that you're probably most proud of. Um, so I'd I'd uh, I'd lean in that direction. Um, do you all want to talk a little about recording uh, your set? I know, Tank, you, you mentioned, you know, you, another song at the last minute. Galen, I, if I remember right, when we first talked, when I called you to, to let you know you won, I think you mentioned that you had, uh, was it a student who encouraged you to do it? And tell yeah, us. Yeah, like a three of my fiddle students sent me emails that week and they're like, Kaylin, you got to enter this contest. And I really am not like a contest entering person usually, but I looked it up and I was like, oh, this is actually kind of cool. Like the prize is traveling and they don't like, it's not reality TV, so sweet. And so I decided to to enter it, but kind of like Tink, like I had a song picked out and then the week of the filming, I went, I had a gig at like a pizza shop or something. And I was like, I just want to make sure this is the right song. So I played three songs for the audience and I said, which of these three oh, wow. should I enter? And they picked Someday Will Linger in the Sun, which is not the one that I was going to do. And I was like, well, they, they probably have a reason for that. So I went with that one and I'm glad that I did obviously because life would have been very different without that pizza shop gig. Uh, <laughs> I, that one gig, I love that song, Galen, and it's crazy oh. that it's one, because if we would have went in the other direction, I don't think we would have won. Yeah, that's what I mean. I don't think, I it, I think asking people or, or like if somebody has a real gut feeling like your bandmate, like it's cool to, I don't know, I just think sometimes you got to get out of your own head to know what song touches other people. And because I don't think I would have suspected that one is like the clincher, but everybody, it was like unanimous. They're like, that one, that one's the one you got to enter. So it's yeah. the I love you. It's the yeah, I love you. I guess. You. It's like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, stays with, it stays with you. <laughs> cool. Cool. That's, That's awesome. beautiful. Listen, thank you all for being part of our family. Um, uh, 
truly all the time love what you've brought to this world. And, you know, people come up to me and tell me how much I love the things that you do. And, uh, and for good reason, you're, you're amazing. And I do encourage you to try to find do something together. I think that would really, really be cool. Seriously. Yeah. Thank you all. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. We love you too, by the Thank way. You. We love okay. you. Thank you. Thank you for um for giving us the um platform a moment maybe? to get off. No, a moment to, to detour. Ah. Yeah. A, a detour. A, yeah, the left turn. The left yeah. turn. Um, ah. the, the left turn that went right. Yeah. Exactly. And, uh, you know, it's not like we would have not kept doing it, but this right, that right. little detour, man, it, it yeah. gave me the opportunity. For people, for the artists that I love, have always loved for years, to love me as well, and uh, so I just, I just, I thank you so much because you give the, that unconventional winner a chance, you know, to be a winner, to shine real bright, you know, and um, everybody need that. Everybody awesome. need that. Thank, thank you. you. And and what Tank just said speaks to uh, something I want to say, which is that, um, sure, we only have one winner every year. But we watch an awful lot. I watch and the team watches an awful lot of videos. And though not everybody wins, of course, only one, uh, an awful lot of the artists that submit get seen and heard. Uh, on, and, and so you may wind up with, you know, 2,000 people seeing you and hearing your music uh, instead of, you know, 20. Um, we put out videos from entries that we love all during the contest which the entries start today everybody we want you to enter and so uh we encourage you to do that you may think not think and this is true of galen and tank that you're going to win and this is true of every single person that has entered this contest but that said you don't know <laughs> what do you have to lose we really want to see and hear the music that's out there that you know is not being sent to me by by you know somebody maybe a publicist or uh, or or whatever, I'd, I I want to see people who are just doing stuff in their bedrooms, and uh, we want to find the next undiscovered talent. So please do enter. Uh, next up, we have uh, performances from our 2018, 2019, and 2020 uh, winners: um, Naya Azumi, Quinn Christopherson, Linda Diaz. And if you're just tuning in, we're honoring our six Tiny Desk contest winners with this con. Tiny Desk Contest Family Hour on the first day of submissions to this contest. If you want to submit your uh, entry, go to npr.org slash tiny desk contest. Uh, we're answering some questions in the chat. So if you have questions, answer, ask them there. Uh, I may come back at the end and answer more. See how that goes. Uh, it's an exciting day for our 2018 Tiny Desk Contest winner, Naya Izumi. The first song from his debut album is out today. And, uh, the song is called Voodoo. It's amazing. It's from an album called A Residency in the Los Angeles area, which comes out July the 30th on Sony Masterworks. So let's move ahead and watch Naya Azumi. Hey, what's good? I'm Naya Azumi, a winner of the 2018 Tiny Desk Contest. And I'm happy to be a part of NPR Tiny Desk family hour um it's the contest really did a lot for my career and and just really sped up things a lot and uh, it got me attention from from ted talks i did a tedx after that i also got signed to sony masterworks and i have an album coming out in june or july and there's so many other things coming to works and you know, as well as a lot of partnerships that I have now. Um, so yeah, that's a lot of really great stuff. Um, I have some songs for you today. The first song is Soft Spoken. Uh, that's the song that won the Tiny Desk contest in 2018. And the next one I'm going to do is Voodoo. Uh, so enjoy. Mm. 
got that simple life with simple things. Got the window in the back seat, someone to talk to when your phone rings. Got the big cross on your gold chain. You got a simple life with simple things. A simple life with simple dreams. We miss the bus, so we walk outside the Chevron. We see Marshall out with his dog. He's got them sad eyes and a big smile. Wanna chop it up? Stay a while. You've got kids, right? He's like two girls. They're eight and nine. They're my whole world. When they come to me every other week, build a big castle out of bed sheets. Got that simple life with that simple thing. Got that turtle shell on our ice cream. Got that simple life with a simple dream. Got that birch tree with a tire swing. Yeah, got that simple life with that simple thing. Got that simple life. We got them simple dreams. Simple life. I'm Quinn Christopherson. This is my good friend Nick Carpenter. We are in Anchorage, Alaska on Denina land and we're pumped to play some songs. I'm so glad I entered the Tiny Desk Contest because I got to tour around the lower 48 and being from Alaska, I I never thought I was going to get out of here and play anywhere else um, except here. So that was life changing. And right now I'm working on my debut record with the label I signed with called Pius and I never thought I'd be doing this so from the bottom of my heart I thank everybody at NPR and yeah I can't wait to share what I've been working on. to be someone I hated I used to cry a lot I used to think I was a woman So I got used to pulling the short stick You all think I'm man enough I got so used to Pulling the short stick And I don't know What to do With all this privilege I got a voice now I got power I can't stand it Nobody interrupts me Nobody second guesses my opinion 
Nobody tells me that I can't do it But that got so used to Pulling the short stick And I don't know What to do With all this privilege Now I got power, but I can't stand it. Yeah, I got a voice now. Well, I got power, but I can't stand it. Of people trying to erase me Yeah, I'm tired Of people trying to erase me Yeah, I'm tired Going through changes I'm having trouble acclimating Can't help but find it frustrating And jeez My brother says he's proud of me And I know he ain't seen nothing yet Just gotta get out of my head My arms beside me Long as my feet below me Long as the stars above me I'm good Long as I'm steady growing Long as the wind is blowing Long as my mama loved me I'm blessed Might not always be obvious Even when I'm not at my best Feel like I'm not enough too small to eat, too young Too smart to be the sum I remind myself that I'm blessed Keep my own roof over my head now Make time to see all of my friends Falling and out of love Get down and get back up Slowly then all at once I realize that I'm blessed Yeah, I'm blessed To raise a person takes a village Don't need to do this on my own Yes, I might need some time alone To reposition in my zone Nobody said this would be easy But my dreams are not so far away So take time to revel in today Come with me Cause I'm good long as my heart's inside me Long as my morals guide me Long as you're thinking of me 
I'm good flying between these sessions Long as I keep them guessing Long as my mama let me I'm blessed Might not always be obvious Even when I'm not at my best Feel like I'm not enough Too small, too weak, too young Too smart to be the sum I remind myself that I'm blessed Keep my own roof over my head now Make time to see all of my friends falling and out of love Get down and get back up Slowly then all at once I realize that I'm blessed Yeah, I'm blessed Hey everyone um, so that song was called Blessed. I am Linda Diaz. This is Bryn Blisco over here on Keys. And um, I'm super excited to be part of this with NPR. If you don't already know, I am the 2020 Tiny Desk winner. So um, I won last year's contest. And I'm super excited for this year's contest. Um, a lot has changed since winning. I have a team now. I didn't have any. It was just me. And now I've got a manager and I've got a lawyer and I've got an agent. Um, so it's all very exciting. And I'm excited to get back to live gigs. I think we're all <laughs> excited for that. Um, but for now, it's going to be cool to connect over the internet. Um, and yeah, and it's really cool to be playing for you guys. So this next song that we're going to do is called Green Tea Ice Cream. And um, it's the song that I won the Tiny Desk Contest with. Um, and I hope you guys like it. It's easy to feel like you don't matter. You just haven't got the time Gumming pennies on the street Close my eyes to see my peace But when it gets to be too much I find myself in what I love When I'm by the sea Sweatshirt, sweatpants, white noise, blue jeans Writing letters to old friends Black cats and tender moments Cherries in the spring, long walks, long nights, green tea, ice cream It's all so good, so good, so good to me mm -hmm. So good, so good, so good to me It's easy to fall in to dull patterns When your mind is clouds of gray Expectations while I, while I manifest my greatness, you tell me just how long I will be waiting. Even trees and flowers know where the seasons for you grow. You should be living out your dreams instead, you're tearing at the seams. Lights and sirens in the dark plug my ears to feel my heart. 
But when it gets to be too much, I find myself in what I love. When I'm by the sea, sweatshirt, sweatpants, white noise, blue jeans, writing letters to old friends, black cats, and tender moments. Cherries in the spring, long walks, long nights, green tea, ice cream. It's all. So good, so good, so good to me. Thank you all so much for having us.、Um, I wanted to say a couple more things about the Tiny Desk contest.、Um, if you're watching this right now, I urge you to apply. It doesn't need to be a whole big shebang. I'm here with Bryn、um, at my at my actual desk, <laughs>、um, and she's actually the first person that I've had at it. So I don't know. I highly recommend that you do the most with what you've got,、um, and just really sing or play something that comes from the heart. I think that is the thing that might have resonated most with people about this song.、Um, so yeah. Being yourself, being genuine, showing your personality—those are all things、um, that will get you far in general, and especially if you hope to win this contest. So, good luck to all of you if you are applying, and、um, yeah, I hope to see you out at gigs and venues really soon. Bye, guys. <laughs> so cute. Great. So cute.、Dope. That was super cute. Okay. Linda said that so well, everybody.、Uh, if you've been. Watching these tiny desk uh, contest uh, videos, what we look for from winners—it's、uh, all over the map. But being yourself is such a key, and I really encourage you to do something you're proud of. Don't worry about the visuals. I mean, if you're a visual person, sure, get creative and put your pet in the video. Go to the top of a mountain as some did, but you don't need to do that stuff.、Uh, we look for music, not of any particular genre. As you heard today, every one of these artists is so different than one another. We look for something singular, something from the heart, something that you can do that maybe nobody else can do. Maybe it's in, in your words,、uh, maybe it's in your guitar playing, or your Uh, cello playing, whereas last year your juice harp playing and harmonica playing, it's all over the place. Our judges are of a wide range.、Uh, this year,、uh, Linda Diaz is going to be、uh, one of our judges. Phoebe Bridgers is another one of our judges.、Uh, Tobe Unwege is another judge. John Morrison, Julie Height,、uh, I'll be a judge.、Um, and we look for so many different things, and then. Get together in a room and talk about what we love, and not what we like. Our favorite music or our favorite genre. It's like what struck us, what surprised us, and、um, the other thing is maybe you're not a musician. Tell your friend. Almost all of these people, all of them, didn't know about the contest, but were told by a friend. And、uh, so maybe be that friend that inspires and changes a friend, another friend's life. So, anyway, thank you all、uh, for doing this. We're going to put this back up online. So if you missed some of it or missed all of it, but、uh, the tiny bit of the end,、uh, you go back and listen to it. I'm going to put this all in the All Songs Considered podcast. I host a show called All Songs Considered、uh, on NPR Music, and、um, we have a podcast. So I'm going to put this whole thing in the podcast Thursday. And、uh, thanks to the、uh, producers who helped so much making this happen, El Manion. Thank you,、um, Will Mitchell, who was the technical director today. Thank you, Kara Frame was our video producer. Josh Rogerson did the audio mastering. <clears throat> the tiny、uh, desk production team is Bobby Carter and Maya Stern.、Um, the contest team is Jessica Goldstein, Pilar Fitzgerald, and Marissa Larusso. And、uh, you're all beautiful souls. Be well. Take care. I'm Bob Boylan for NPR Music.